Okay, so this makes more sense now. So apparently, the rating on this, this mindless stuff, is the same as the other one, only... So, one, two, three, the word after the comma is angel. So, if I look for the fourth word on the other thing, I think that's going to spell out most of it. Hopefully it's a direct one-to-one -one translation. Um, there's the comma. So it looks like PCA, that C, and then... Let's try the first three first off. P, C, and triangle with a one line in it. P, C, Pac-Man. I'm a Pac-Man main. Pac-Manning it up. Uh, what did I say? PCA, right? Uh, it's one of those two. I don't know which one. Not that one, but that one. And I guess this one's also going to be... And then this one was already... I think... Like that C with the lines. Reverse. Nailed it. Hey. When possible, always brute force the last digit. I can't believe I didn't make the correlation though, between the two tablets. I thought I was smarter than that. Got a lever. It's missing a lever. Oh, use it! Fine, I'll do it. There. Was that so hard? Uh. This could be bad. Um, Necro wants out. Looking kind of pyramid head there. We got the pyramid. Yeah. Kite him. Help. Uh. Uh. I like the music. Don't let him touch you. Game over. Brutal. Maybe the locker, or maybe the other room, I don't know. Man, now we gotta redo that stupid puzzle. Luckily, I think I have it memorized. There's nothing in here. Just, I'm just thinking ahead right now. This room's got stuff in the corners. In a ritualistic ceiling of demon-type fashion. Having to redo this puzzle sucks. Because I'm sure I'm going to die again anyways. Uh, trying to remember what this one was. This. Where's the other? I got an idea though. If I leave it like that. 
now, before I finish the puzzle. Oh wait, I can finish the puzzle before I put the lever in. The idea was to save in a way that would allow me to bypass this extra clicky steps. Oh shit, wait, this is the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> This game does have monsters. Let me touch your bad times. I don't know if I'm able to use this door. I don't even think I tried. So that's another possibility. I'll try that first, maybe. Pyramid head chase scene. Not that way. Put these dead ends in here. Whoever it is is a jerk. Doesn't look much like a consent to me. In the hell. It's not working. Well, fuck. Yeah. Um. What am I supposed to do? Being chased by stuff and not knowing what to do. Whoa, how'd you catch up so fast, you little fuck? Sake, why are you already on my ass? Oh, I can actually interact with this. I didn't know that. I didn't think to try. I didn't have a lot of time to react. I guess the monster doesn't know how to jump down holes. Only we do. Oh, we're back where we started. Just more bloody. Hmm. And we have one more key. And a Jeebus necklace. Azure key. 
Alas, I'm so powerless against the key. Being in your possession, it is not my will, but the will of our fathers. As much as you have proven your endurance today, you have also seen that. To my dismay, I cannot always protect you, so take this medallion as a gift from me. Be strong. Jenny. And he better not do that Sound Hill 3 thing with the last boss. Not a big fan. I uh, didn't mean to click this again. My bad. I wonder if this note has changed or if it's still the same. Yeah, no, it's the same. This bloody stuff came out of here. Oh, let's go put this key in at least. Into here. That'll give me a chance to save my progress as well. Then we'll see if I can use the clock needle on the dead there door. I'm getting a vibe that once this room is complete with four keys, that might be the main objective for chapter one. Use the user key. Back it reads, Saint Timphana on the pray for us. It's meant to ward off demonic influence. So we still need one more key. And I didn't hit to save a bit. Thoughts are this door over here. It says I used to. No. No. Perfect. So the last key might be tied to these stupid clocks. We've seen three of them, and it looks like they're unlocked now. 1982, some kind of a hint. There's three or four of them. Shadowing past. I think there's four. Uh, there's one on the staircase. There's one over here where we're at. Oh, and then there's just this one there. Okay, so there's only three. It's got something to do with 1982. this would have anything to do with anything. He'll tell us time through astrology anyways. Defaulted to the one that's shaped like an M. And the third clock had like a sun and a moon. I don't know what that has to do with anything, do. Where's the dude about the 
1982 stuff. Maybe there was more information. Can't find it. Writing on the pool wall. The moon bleeds. 1982. figured that because of the nature of the look that we had to solve the clocks to open this door but I never actually clicked on it so now we've got something to work with her legs are all battered up alright what do we got let's You know what's great about clock puzzles? What can make them even better anyways? Ticking music. It's cute, there's an illumination of the moon crying tears of Red Bull. Some people cry Red Bull. Some of the lines have been crossed out. I didn't actually read the solution, I just re read that you can actually enter this room. So I'm like, fuck it, let's, let's try it. Dancing round the circle of time, the beast awaits a deadly chime. With a key in hand and blood in sight, it opens its mouth to swallow the light. First is the proud king, monarch of beasts. Second is the doppelganger within the womb. is the pawn under the darkened tide. Ninth is the judgment, the weight of a soul. The day the beast has fed and all four stars are dead. Key is yours to keep. Oh fuck, I should have just read the solution. What the shit am I reading? The day the beast has fed. All four stars are dead. A beast devouring four stars? Surely not the beast I know. Does it have a number as well? Yeah, we're boned. See, I'm not into this zodiac shit. Or this horoscope stuff. Looks like it'll open that door over there somehow. And we also had the hint of 1982. Something about the moon bleeding or something. I don't fucking know. Pretty sure none of these can eat stars, let alone four of them. That's that's a lot of matter to take in. Whether you're a scorpion or an archer or a goat. Ah shit wrong. I'm probably not gonna be able to solve this on my own. Libra the scheme. Just as lost now as I was before, if not more. 
The Moon Bleeds, 1982. Or 1982. And it's not even a day, that's a year. So that can't be the day to meet Ding Feasts. So spoiler alert, moons don't bleed. They don't have a circulatory system. Just rocks. Beast awaits. First is a proud king. Monarch of beasts. I wouldn't know which one is a monarch of a beast. Doppelganger within the womb. It is a pawn. Why is there four things that are left? There's three clocks. How does that relate to anything in regard to the moon bleeding? Or 1982. Eighth is the pawn. Ninth is the judgment. The weight of a soul. Well, souls don't have weight. They don't even have mass. Day the beast has fed, and all four stars are dead. Beast devouring four stars, surely not the beast I know. Does it have a number as well? Oh, fuck what I know. Alright, so I have an idea of how the hell this is supposed to work. Not too happy about it. <laughs> so the 1982 thing is referencing the numbers associated with this. Maybe because we're on normal difficulty, that might be why I crossed these out to reduce the likelihood that you won't get it. But the color represents whether it's the sun or the moon. And then the third one is just unknown because I don't know what the Zodiac stuff is. So I think we have to enter them in the order. So the first because we're talking 1982 so one it's blue so that would mean a sun. So one sun and if I remember the Zodiac. Cheat, cheat, ding. And I, mean, I, might take it, I think it's Leo or whatever. I'm just curious if it'll brute force on the third one if we did that last. So, let's see. First, set it to one. So we have to enter four freaking combinations. And I don't think there's a shortcut back to this room means we have to go the long fucking way around. That sucks. That's a time sink. It was a Steam game. Developers may put stuff like this into the game to ensure that you spend more than two hours on the game before you realize that there's a problem and are past the point of refund. Uh, time window. Bloody stuff going on here. Hey, the wall must have given birth. What would a pregnant wall give birth to? Uh, another wall? Like a blockade, a barricade, a door? Congratulations, it's a wall. Hey, this is different. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Maybe I'll be. Hey, look, an angel. What the devil is that? It's emanating perilous want. I feel like I shouldn't be looking. Glass now seems more fragile than ever. Can I use this thing? Eat it. No. Are you going to be chasing me? 
that's gonna be that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's gonna break through, isn't it? What? What happened? What happened? What? 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 what, what? Did this room unlock? That would be a no. So maybe I, have, I can, when I run back, it'll unlock it a second time. Yeah, don't go down that ladder. That's bad news down here. Word around. What's up? I'm doing puzzles and shit. Okay, so it was blue. So we need to set this to the sun. For well, the first one, anyways. Now we need to go back to the other place and enter the correct zodiac. I really wish this door worked. That'd be awesome. by like the second, third, or fourth time we have to make make that trip that glass is gonna be broken. It's gonna really suck for me. Question here now is the other two are in the correct position for the first input. Will we get a response if it just happens? It does. So we can brute force the zodiac part. As long as we knew the other two components. We don't have to learn astrology or astronomy or I forget which one's which. I always I always forget. Okay, so we've entered the first digit. I should probably also save my progress. Because whatever's going on with that glass mirror thing... I suspect our chances of dying... will become possible. As a result, so... Keep my shit saved. We need the information for the second input. Got a bunch of cool editing. Oh, cool. The uh, writing, I presume, right? Ninth is red, so we need to swap to the moon. It seems so bad. I'm gonna check what this does in a moment, too. But I wanna get this guy into position. E. Get closer, now press E. So there's 9. It's 1982. Second input is to 9. Zodiac glass. Let's see what this move platform will do for us. Because we saw this. So now we have a. Sweet, we got a shortcut. That's really good because I don't need that glass breaking on me while I'm trying to do this. Here's what kind of editing we're just done. We're 
we're talking video editing or like writing editing. Or... That's in position. And now we brute force the Zodiac. A screw horoscopes. Hearing glass shattering or anything. Good. And brute force. Da -da 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 -da. Nailed it. Ah. Ah. A little bit tedious, but we still have two more inputs to make. So next is nineteen eighty two, the eight. Got that in place. I don't know what color the other one is, so let's consult the sheet. It feels less tedious to come up here and read this than it is to find it in the memo. <laughs> Eight is the pawn, so it's blue, which is the sun, so I need to flip that one. It'll be flipped again after that, so that we got all the information we need. Eh, there's something off with this girl. It's an indie game, so... I imagine this is an original model that was made, and not like a stock asset one. So it comes with the territory. And I give it the leniency it needs and deserves, given its context. Hey, Mr. E. Okay, so we flip this guy. And we go back to brute forcing the Zodiac. Are playing the bad games again? Yes, but I wouldn't call this one of the bad games. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Overall. Lots and lots of puzzles. I don't know how many more there's left, but this one in particular, very time sinky. We are. So now that just leaves us to flip flop the sun and moon again. Set the other clock to a two. And then brute force this one, and we're good to go. Into fuck knows what. Uh, 1982, so that'll go there on Z.2. Yeah, that's true. There's always more bad games than good ones. To be expected, in a sense. You're dealing with subjective stuff and just lots of options. And I don't hear the monster. What's going on there? A big series of books. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy it. <laughs> Swapped, get the zodiac thing, and we'll see what happens. The wheel of time. I'm not very well read on anything, so. <laughs> 
I lack the ability to comment. I'm gonna come over here and make a save too, cause who knows what's gonna happen. I need not find out the hard way. Jeez, we're almost two hours. I was not expecting this to be as long as it is. Alright, brute force, go! Looks like that opened up a staircase. Cue the wedding music, the wedding bells, wedding. There's no other does not condone weddings. If anything, I would be fairly anti. And I would not recommend it. Alright, game, show me what you got. Last key. That ankle. Insufficient. Oh. <laughs> Scatter angle. Are they sci fi books? To, I don't know if he still does, but he used to stream his writing and stuff like that. If that's your thing. Alright, so what did that do? I see, there's a door over here. Hey, it's one of those pooping holes. I just take a time to remember and commemorate that somebody had invented the toilet. Because if we had to deal with this, that would suck. Especially if you had to jump in there for some reason. I believe it was... Wasn't it John Crapper? Like the inventor of the... Oh, they got porta potties. Stay, leave. I'm a girl. I can't use the porta potties unless you get one of those special uh, add-ons. One of those guru turning girls into urinal things. There's something written here. Stay. Unless you're familiar with Guru stuffs, you may not quite understand the aesthetic appeal of using somebody's body as a toilet seat cover. And even if you did understand it, I still would say that's probably like a 
tapping type of thing. Our angel has come. Clothed in kids flesh. And it's you. Uh, you're the guy that Don't you dare walk out on me this time. The, the kite Listen, and the key. You're the only other person I found, and I want some answers. How did you resist the holy touch? The gift that was to be yours. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, just tell me what's going on. Where the hell am I? Hell? <laughs> no, no, dear. This is our sacred kingdom. Our paradise. I love what you've done with the place. For now. The decor least. is... Paradise? It's not exactly harps and clouds, is it? Expectations deceive. I can attest to that. But how did you manage to get here? I jumped down the toilet. Didn't you want me to follow you? That was not the question. You shouldn't be here. And yet here I am. So, how are you warded? Using some blasphemous shield to thwart our angel? Like this? Ah, uh, he's allergic to little red riding hood. She cannot seize her apostasy. Who? Your mother, of course. My mother? What do you know about her? I have seen her right. Yeah, but he's one of those religious crazy kooks. She's here. That negates all the benefits, plus he's a dude. And he's old. Matters far beyond There's a lot to not like. And light. He's got good taste and aesthetics, at least. Child. What are you even saying? Jennifer! She gave it to you, didn't she? The medallion. We found it on the floor, literally. Yet. Can I have it? No. What? No. All right. You can buy it. Right. I might be willing to sell it. it. To the highest bidder. Wait. With my eBay. My Pre-reserved. Did you steal it? Benjamin Franklin stole my doorknob. Wow. You brought me here, didn't you? You brought yourself here. I barely showed you the way. Then show me the way out! Now! Okay. Right through there, my dear. That's my apartment. Your ticket home. I don't understand. Huh? After all your effort to lead me here, you... You just let me go? I gotta leave something for chapter two. Share in the sacredness here. You reject our holy lord. I have offered you a light. I have a flashlight. But if that is not your choice, your will, I'd much rather you do in your heretic ways of scum. It's not to sound no way. I'm out of here. Penny shot. Don't forget what you came for. My doorknob. I'm not buying this. I don't buy this for a moment. I just expect him to scream like, Hair attack! I got my door up. Let's say goodbye to the urinals. We'll never get to use these. I'm sure somebody will one day have a use for you. He might be fairly sane by the standards of this world, but he hasn't proved very helpful. I'd rather not talk to him. I mean, he's not very helpful. He gave us the doorknob back. He gave us a way out. Supposedly. And he's not trying to kill or rape us or anything. Which is another big plus. Wait. Wait. Of course. Your medallion. You can't have it. No, no. But, but nothing. Fuck you. Listen, you. Uh, you must enter with the medallion first. Ah. Uh -huh. Like this. 
like a lantern to light the way. Uh -huh. Why is that important? <sighs> I know that locket. Remember, your mother wants you to stay. You know it. You've read it yourself. I've read a lot of stuff. Her medallion's powers too close to your heart would no doubt keep you from leaving. That sounds like a load of shit. If you want it so bad, just you beat her up. Be right. Good luck. She's defenseless, no weapons. And remember, her legs are all busted up. up. to your name. Thanks, Ben. They're gonna put you on some bills one day. Monster's gonna come home with us. Maybe he'll give that cat someone to play with. Yeah, that thing killed us a few times earlier. Ah, rustic home sweet home. Man, her place is kind of a dump, isn't it? Garbage bags all over the place. It's got bodies in it. What, what, what have you been doing? As it turn out, she's like a serial killer or something. What? Wait, maybe this isn't her apartment. Well, what do you expect for an apartment in Silent Hill? Necromorphs. A plenty. It's like somebody took the bottom of Pyramid Head and the top of a, Z a necromorph from Dead Space. That's kind of what it feels like. Not in a bad way, but... I'm gonna assume that's the end of Chapter 1. Which is all that's available. Um... So it's a combatless game. It's just about atmosphere and puzzle solving. And while a couple of those puzzles stump stump me, they weren't they weren't that badly designed other than the tediousness of the length of that last one with the clock stuff. But not bad. Uh, the chase scene part was a little uh a little bit wonky, but I think it worked out pretty well. Um, it's obvious this is a, a indie game. It's got that amateur quality to it, um, but because I was able to play it for free, like I can't knock it for that. It it, it, it plays really well. Uh, the length is surprisingly long for the first chapter. I was expecting a much shorter experience and a very slight taste of what the game will be like. But we got, we got a lot more. Uh, it's obvious the game takes heavy influence or inspiration of Silent Hill. And I'm okay with that because I love me some Silent Hill. So the visual themes and everything was pretty spot on. Um, I honestly don't think I have much bad to say. Like, it, it is great for what it is. I don't know how many chapters the the developers planning on making before the game is considered complete, but hey, it's definitely something to look forward to. <laughs>